Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you Kendra Cards Challenge number nine, my second submission. Kendra Cards Challenge provides you with the cutting guide for six patterned papers and I use the Catherine Pooler in the park design. It is a monochromatic green color and what the cutting guide does, it shows you where to cut, where you start cutting. It's got a scissor icon it also shows you the card sketches it relates to by putting numbers against it, as well as arrows to show the direction orientation in which the piece of patent paper should be adhered to the card sketch. It's all very clear. So there's six pattern papers and the cutting guides are labeled by colors from A to F. And then you've got the card sketches 1 to 15 and the cutting guide colors are on the card sketches so you know which pattern paper relates to which card sketch it's all very very logical what you need to do is to be organized so as you follow the cutting guide and cut the pattern paper you need to put it into numbered poly pockets sif so you have poly pockets from numbered from 1 to 15 and as you cut your pattern paper you put the respective pieces into the poly pockets allowing you to know which pattern paper relates to which card sketch i have done card sketch number eight because i'm a kcc or kendra cards challenge design team member and on the 2nd of january 2023 i showed you three ways on which you can approach card sketch number eight so this is the second one and therefore I'm doing my second submission. This card sketch, I will put the link to the video on how I did this in the description below and you can see how I approached it. Then the next step is to get the card base, the card mats, the layers, the embellishments, the sentiments that go with each card sketch and you cut that out and you put it into each of the poly pockets. Now, because I've used Catherine Puller Designs in the Park Prince patterned paper, 6 by 6 patterned paper, it's monochromatic, I chose specific colours to go with it. So I used Catherine Puller Designs ink from the party collection called Date Night. I used the inks, primarily the purples, the greens and the pinks, but I also used a little bit of the yellow. Basically, if you've got the date night ink set, it's a good contrast to the in the park green screen. So that's the thing about using monochromatic colors. You need to choose two or three colors that can go with it. And that's it. You've got your entire 15 cards sorted. All you need to do is then choose the embellishments or the sentiments and you're done. So what I do is the next steps. I choose all the relevant bits to assemble the card, put it into the respective poly pockets, and here I show you what I do. Now, does that mean I will assemble it as is? Well, as I assemble the cards, I may change my mind, and that's why you have the assemble the cards section where you'll see how I've assembled the cards. I hope you really enjoy the video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. Do head over to my blog where you've got a lot more information where I show how I organize myself when I do this card challenge and a lot more information. The link to my blog is in the description below. I'm going to leave you with, my, with some music and I really hope you get what you need from this video and give yourself a chance to do this challenge. This is a quarterly challenge and it runs from 1st January 2023 to 31st March 2023. So you still have time to partake in this challenge because I think it gives you a chance to have an amazing set of cards. If you want, you can leave the sentiment element out of it and add the sentiment as and when you need a card for a particular occasion. It's a great way to have a set of cards available to yourself to do what you need to do or to, to send out cards as and when you need to. Thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy the video.